Hello and welcome to my presentation today. My name is Mauritz and I'm the responsible industry manager for battery pack applications at Trump. It is a pleasure for me to provide an insight for you in our approach dealing with the new requirements and challenges in terms of the battery systems manufacturing. The best way to describe our company Trump is via four characteristics. We are a family business. We think and act with a long-term perspective. Our core business are manufacturing solutions in the field of machine tools and laser technology. These are used in the manufacture of the most diverse products, from vehicles, building technology and mobile devices to state-of-the-art power and data storage. We are offering our customers top-notch technologies and promise constant and holistic innovation. Thus, we are able to constantly open up new technological fields and applications for our customers. Our consistent internationalization is one of our success factors. We are active with own subsidiaries in those markets where our customers are with over 70 subsidiaries worldwide. I will start my talk today with a short overview of the market situation, the current applications in the battery systems. Based on that, I want to share with you the latest applications. First, we will start with some spotlights regarding the underwrite protection and aluminum gas type welding for housings and heat exchangers. Second, for the flexible manufacturing of automotive sheet metal parts for the battery systems. And third, enabling new possibilities by the use of selective laser cleaning and ablation processes. New requirements are also what many industries currently experience due to the structural change driven by the electromobility. The new requirements differ for the respective subsystems of the vehicles. I will focus in my presentation today on the battery systems application. The major purpose of these battery systems is to ensure the fastening, the mechanical protection and the thermal operation conditions of the battery cells. To fulfill these requirements, well-known car body materials such as aluminum alloys and various steel grades are dominating the choice of the material for battery pack applications. The automotive industry and the car body production are currently facing three main market drivers. First, production has to cope with a volatile market environment, which includes both low growth in overall vehicle production and an increasing share of electric vehicles. Second, the rapid increase in model diversity is leading to reduced lot sizes in production. And third, electromobility is resulting in increased requirements in the areas of lightweight design and safety. These major market trends are currently leading to a huge variety of different design philosophies in terms of battery systems using different battery cell types and material combinations. As you can see right behind me, we at Trump have derived a battery pack demonstrator to display the broad field of applications. We are demonstrating the efficient use of laser and machine technologies for the multiple design philosophies in battery systems and the associated battery cell types, module configurations, as well as the material choices. The battery pack demonstrator shows the extensive variety of laser and machine tool applications in the context of battery systems. Among other insights, we display in the demonstrator the various welding applications that are present in almost every part of the battery pack, such as the welding of battery cells, the thermal management system, the underwrite protection and battery trays. On behalf of identification and tracking of every component of the battery pack, the best fitting marking processes and technologies have to be applied. As a first deep dive, let's have a look at the requirements and applications in the context of the underwrite protection, the battery tray cover, as well as new laser technologies that enable gas tight welding of aluminum alloys for housings and heat exchangers. The underwrite protection shields the battery pack from intrusion of road debris or in case of an accident. The reinforced sheet metal structures in the underwrite protection are often consisting of overlap welds, where laser welding technologies are ideally suited for the use 
for these resulting fillet seams. For the application in battery systems, we use on the one hand our remote optics PFO in combination with our OCT sensor for seam tracking, wild depth monitoring, as well as post measurement of the generated wild seam geometry. On the other hand, we use our disc lasers in combination with our beam shaping capabilities like Brightline Wild. In this way, we can simultaneously achieve process reliable joining, high welding speeds, customized seam geometries, and traceable quality assurance. To achieve a good welding result at such fillet seams, a high positioning accuracy is needed. OCT seam tracking allows the detection of edges and so a precise positioning of the laser beam relative to the edge. This technology is an omnidirectional solution for seam detection, which eliminates the need to rotate the processing head. It is fully flexible. Even processes with laser beam oscillation and beam shaping can be some used simultaneously with the OCT seam tracking. At beam oscillation, a high process flexibility exists. For example, to create a bigger cross-section area. With the beam shaping technology Brightline Weld, the welding speed and so the productivity can be increased to up to 10 meters per minute. With this additional online seam monitoring, the geometry of the weld seam can be scanned during the whole welding and offer you an all-in-one solution. Optical coherence tomography, abbreviated as OCT, is used as a quality assurance solution. For this purpose, a measuring laser beam is positioned by a mirror in three dimensions relative to the process zone. In the pre-zone, the current edge position is tracked. In the process zone, the welding depth is measured relative to a reference point next to the weld seam. And in the post zone, the seam surface is measured. Next to the underwrite protection, there's the thermal management system in the battery pack, which provides the optimum temperature conditions for the battery cells. For these thermal management systems, various laser and machine technologies are used for state-of-the-art solutions, but also enable innovative approaches, such as multi-layer cooling systems or innovative metal polymer composites. For such parts, as heat exchangers and electronic housings with integrated coolings, aluminum alloys are being used in the form of extruded profiles, cast parts, or even deep-drawn sheet metals. For the laser welding of these aluminum alloys, the process must be set appropriately for the conflicting requirements arising from the material properties as well as the process technology and the parameters. It is fundamental and essential to ensure the requirements of gas tightness and at the same time to achieve a sufficient productivity in terms of the weld speed. Today, three different processes are mostly used for gas tight welding of aluminum alloys. From right to left, with increasing welding speed, the processes of laser welding with filler wire and welding with beam oscillation are shown. These two processes are characterized by a high degree of tightness reliability at, however, lower weld speeds. Furthermore, welding with the beam shaping technologies like Brightline Weld are applied with a significant increase of the welding speed, but unfortunately reducing the reliability of the tightness. This reduced reproducibility of the weld seam tightness was the reason for us at Trump to develop a new solution which holds both the requirement to achieve the highest welding speeds, but at the same time to ensure the highest reliability of the gas tight joints. Welding with the beam forming technologies allow the highest welding speeds of up to 40 meters per minute to be achieved. But with rework rates of typically much more than 5% in terms of fulfilling the tightness requirements. Therefore, this technology is used efficiently for applications in which rework is permissible to a defined extent. And at the same time, the highest productivity is required. This is why we have developed 
the multi-spot optics for applications with the highest requirements regarding the tightness of aluminum components, such as electronic housings and heat exchangers. In many projects, this outstanding reliability have already been demonstrated with rework rates of significantly less than 1%. The laser technology approach is a special spatial laser beam shaping unit. The solution involves a combination of two established technologies. On the one hand, Brightline Weld, the technology used to increase process quality, is on the other hand combined with the multi-spot optics approach already proven in some aluminum welding processes. The main objective is a stable and robust welding process, which is ensured by the precisely distributed positioning of the laser power. To achieve this stable process at aluminum alloys, a large, stable and always open keyhole is required during the welding process. Due to a rotationally symmetrical design, the multi-spot optics also achieves a direction-independent welding result. Two of the main applications for gas-type welding of aluminum automotive components are electronic housings and heat exchangers in battery systems. Considering the example of heat exchangers, we can see the conflict of objectives between maximum productivity and the gas tightness of the weld seam. While Brightline Weld enables us to weld at speeds of up to 40 meters per minute, the multi-spot solution can currently weld at 50 meters per minute, but with a significant increase of the reliability of the gas tight joint. The multi-spot optics increases the process efficiency, enables larger welding depth, and additionally improves the weld seam quality. Furthermore, this increases the stability of the keyhole and prevents it from collapsing unintentionally. This counteracts the formation of process pores and forms the basis for gas tight components. In high-speed video recordings, these results were verified and the tailoring and stabilization of the keyhole were displayed. In order to cope with a volatile market environment, I want to show you a solution approach using flexible sheet metal production exemplary for the battery tray. The battery tray is the enclosure ensuring the hermetically sealed environment of the battery cells. The flexible sheet metal production allows at the same time the production of high precision sheet metal parts with an instant and distinguished productivity. In particular, flexible sheet metal production is suitable for production volumes of up to 100,000 parts per year. And in addition, flexible sheet metal production is capable of being adapted to change component geometry at short notice and without additional tooling costs. This makes it predestined for the market environment of small quantities and volatile markets. The optimal implementation of flexible sheet metal production can be divided in three steps. In the first step, the component for flexible sheet metal production is adjusted in the design optimization for maximum productivity and cost efficiency. In the second step, the fulfillment of requirements is demonstrated in a prototype production. And in the third step, the optimized material flow strategies and automation necessities are transferred to a factory layout. This picture shows an example of the structure of such a factory layout. The sheet metal parts can be produced in a wide range of materials and thicknesses. In this case, the material flow starts from a sheet metal storage being transported to a combined punching and laser cutting machine. From there, the cut component is automatically transported to a bending cell to be formed into the desired three-dimensional shape. The accuracy of the bend part in combination with the customized clamping tool achieves a zero gap condition for subsequent laser welding processes. Depending on the design joy type, the suitable welding technology and handling system has to be chosen. At the end of the process chain, the cut, bent and welded sheet metal component is available. 
In the battery pack, clean surfaces are of particular importance. For example, as a preparation of hermetic sealing or for subsequent laser welding processes. Therefore, I want to show you a process that is characterized both by its productivity and by the outstanding focusability of the cleaning and ablation process. During the cleaning process, the laser radiation is absorbed by contaminants such as grease and oil, which are then vaporized. As metals are much more reflective than the substances covering them, the actual part remains mostly unaffected by the cleaning process. The same principle is applied for decoating of paints or oxide layers. The resulting fume and particles have to be extracted near to the process zone. Using lasers for cleaning enables precise and selective processing and realize a very well-defined surface cell. All requirements on the surface can be met in only one processing stage. No post-processing is necessary and the vaporized contaminants can easily be exhausted. Due to these tremendous advantages, laser cleaning has already exploited a large field of applications. In the following, I want to share with you an exemplary sealing preparation on the battery tray cover by using laser cleaning and ablation. This application for laser ablation is the removal of cataphoretic paintings. On the one hand, these coatings must be removed in order to achieve a defined surface condition and thus re ensure reliable sealing. On the other hand, there's a need for electrical contacting to ensure electromagnetic compatibility. In the process, either the entire flange surface can be machined or individual areas can be exposed in a defined manner for electrical contacting. Since the removal of the resulting particles close to the process zone is of essential importance for the process, we have developed a process head with integrated extraction device together with our partner TKSY. This enables simultaneously uh, processing and direct removal of the ablated material close to the process zone. Now, summarizing what we've heard today, on the one hand, machine tools offer the possibility to make the production of sheet metal components much more flexible. On the other hand, the laser as a flexible production tool offers the possibility of conducting a wide variety of manufacturing tasks, such as cleaning, welding, cutting, or structuring for a broad diversity of products in the context of battery systems. And with this, I would like to thank you for your attention and looking forward to your questions. Thank you.